so today I'd like to talk about the internet and how poor it is in Liverpool and why do we have to put up with really, really rubbish speeds? I mean, we're lagging behind, especially in this city, but especially in the north as well from the rest of the city. What I've created, what I'm basically founded is something called an internet exchange. An internet exchange, if you can read all that from there, is basically things that brings all these tangible benefits that basically bring better connectivity to Liverpool. It's lower latency, it's better content. It enables our traffic here to stay local. So when we're communicating together, peer-to-peer -to -peer messaging, delivering content, watching our Netflix movies or updating your Facebook status, all these different things, it all takes time, it depends on the, the quality of the connection, it depends on how far you're from the exchange and things like that. But this is a diagram of exactly how it works in terms of just three parties. You've, you connecting to the internet via your ISP. We want to bridge that connection. We want to make that connection better and faster and bring the internet closer to you. So IX Liverpool is something that me and a handful of people have put together in Liverpool. We want to make this happen. This is not a business. This here is what London have done in terms of London Internet Exchange and what they put together in 1992. That's actually inside an Internet Exchange. That guy who looks like he's doing something with his hand, which is really funny. Okay, that is really the centre of the internet. We want one of them in Liverpool because we can get better and faster in internet connections, basically. So how are we set up? We were set up basically in January this year. We put together a simple board of people, a company limited by guarantee. There's four of us four members and it's a not-for-profit so we're not actually here to make a whole lot of money we're actually here that you know if we can make the internet better and faster it will enable um, the sense of community digital businesses here it will enable obviously better connectivity to get to people and businesses uh, things like the NHS and healthcare and so on this is a telephone exchange from yonks ago it's very similar to what we're trying to do is instead of people it's now machines it's connecting those people together better and faster. Liverpool doesn't have one, London does. So really, if you set up a mutual tel um, ex internet exchange like Leeds have done in London, Manchester, which is called Ajax Manchester, these are the things that happen, confidence, cooperation, and trust. And that comes about by people coming together. Now, how are we going to actually do it? What does an internet exchange really mean? Well. It's basically putting nodes, it's points of presence around the city and the Baltic Triangle, the Commercial Quarter, Edge Lane, the Knowledge Quarter, Rope Works. It's putting fiber optics underneath the city and that fiber optics is just not there at the moment. BT said they'll do it, then he said they wouldn't. You know, one day, once that fiber goes down, we want to connect the likes of Albert Dock, Brunswick Dock, Speak, North, North of Liverpool, the Sefton area. Now, when we look at Sefton specifically, there's a cable that goes, the transatlantic cable, that goes from New York to Boston and around Halifax and all these different places. And it co comes into a place called Southport, not far from here, then goes to Manchester and then to London. If we intercept that cable, this piece of wire under the sea, and bring it into Liverpool and drive the internet so we can get it, then obviously it's going to be better for us and better to power our exchange and make it faster to get to the rest of the world. So this cable, what does it look like? That is the cable underneath the sea that basically links us to the US side of the internet. It's tiny, tiny, tiny fiber optic in the middle. All the rest of it is simply just armored cabling, you know, to, to protect it as it sits on the seabed. So what do we need to get this thing going? We need a critical mass. We need a momentum. We need the people to come together and say, we've had enough of slow speeds in Liverpool. We want businesses to be able to say, do you know what, we are fully behind you because we need this to happen. We need IX Liverpool to be really, really successful. We need to find optic down in Liverpool and we need to say no to BT, no to what the, what the governments are going on about at the moment. So, well, it's coming, Northern Powerhouse, everything else. It's not, it's not happening. You've seen what Ofcom have done to BT recently, if you've read the news. So how can you help if you can be part of it? Please get involved. Go to our website, ixliverpool.net, ixliverpool.net, or please help us be a volunteer. We need people in marketing, we need people in technical, we need people to look after our website, update our tweets, and write blogs, and actually help go out and get people from the business community and consumers to say, we've had enough, we will fully back you, and we want 
an internet exchange for Liverpool that Manchester, London, Brighton and Cardiff have got and we want it here because we are Liverpool and we want faster, better internet access for everybody. So please, visit our website, come and see us. Thank you.